Peterson, would you like some coffee? I don't need coffee. One look at your hot ass and I wake right up. <laughs> Come here and give me a kiss. You know, just because you are in a position of power does not give you the right to talk to me like that. Well, how about I talk to you like this? You're fired. And scene. Wow. Please, give our players a hand. Wow, you know, I, I've seen it over and again, and it's just hard to believe that they're acting. It's just, wow, wow. Uh, so, can anybody tell me what just happened here? Uh, yes. Well, uh, after he gave her a compliment, she just flew off the handle. <laughs> well, actually, what's a compliment to one person may easily be seen as offensive to another. I just don't see what's wrong with telling a lady that she's beautiful. <laughs> well, it, it, it can be inappropriate in the workplace. What if there's an earthquake and we're trapped in the building for a couple of weeks? Now, we all look and smell pretty bad. Uh, would it be okay to compliment the ladies to boost their spirits? Well, in an extreme case like that, I would say yes, but uh, in any other circumstance, it would be wrong. Like it was wrong for Mr. Peterson to touch his secretary. What if I slip on something and the only way for me to regain my footing and avoid injury is to grab a co-worker's buttocks? <laughs> would that be okay? Uh, well, maybe you should try grabbing onto something else. Well, I know, but if the only thing I can reach is a buttocks or possibly a breast, <laughs> uh, would I be within my rights? I guess, but uh, only, and only if you're falling. Uh, of course. Okay. And uh, another thing you can't do is make inappropriate requests, like when Mr. Peterson asked his secretary for a kiss. Uh, what if we're at the office Christmas party and we're under the mistletoe? Uh, is it okay then? <laughs> Yes, if both people agree. What about a kiss on Hanukkah or, or Kwanzaa? <laughs> uh, well, I, I don't know about Kwanzaa. So, so. You're, you're saying black holidays don't matter? No, I, I didn't say that. Uh, okay, I'm not... You know what? Sometimes, in order for people to understand sexual harassment, they have to experience sexual harassment. So, uh, if you wouldn't mind stepping up here for a moment. Mind? Okay, now. We're going to role play. And I'm going to play Mr. Peterson. And you play my secretary asking for a raise. Can you do that? Sure. OK. And you can uh, begin whenever you're ready. <clears throat> Mr. Peterson, I was wondering if you were going to give me that raise you promised me. Well, uh, I could give you that raise. But uh, quite frankly, you're not sexy enough. Perhaps if you wore shorter dresses and showed a little more chest, uh, we might be able to work something out. Can I just go down on you? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this concludes the sexual harassment meeting. Thank you all for coming. And you know what? Get yourself a good lawyer, because one day you're going to need it. What, what, hey, what did I say? I don't know, but those are some good points you made. Oh, thanks. Thanks. Hey, I haven't seen you around here before. Yeah, my name is Gator. I'm your new supervisor. Oh, cool. Yeah. Can you do me a favor and, and grab my keys in my front pocket? My hands oh, are yeah, full. Sure. <laughs> hey, uh, there aren't any keys in here. My bad. Good thing you were there, my man. I could have slipped and hurt myself. Yeah, I'm glad I could help you. No problem. <laughs> you going to the Kwanzaa party? 